So I've just been to the second half of the Fall of the Roman Empire exhibition. I just wanted to take a little video to capture my thoughts before they start to naturally dissipate as they do. So it was, a, it was brilliant first off, it was really well set out. It was not just the exhibits, but you, know, you had an audio guide uh, with sort of conversational voices, people asking each other questions to keep it engaging. You had sensory stuff as well, like it was this incredible bit when it was in chronological order and when they got near to sort of 476 AD here, when officially the Western Roman Empire went into existence. You had a, a big kind of curtain of fire created by lights and, and ropes and things, it was, and, and music to go with it. So it was, it was really entertaining as well as informative. As for the content, it was what I found quite interesting was that they probably downplayed quite a lot the, the kind of barbarian invasion theory. Uh, they they framed you know the, like the Goths, the, the Vandals, the Franks, the, the Huns as participants in a, a greater game, as opposed to the cause of the fall of the empire. You know, perhaps part symptom, part cause. Um, and there was quite a big emphasis. On the other hand, on the, the rise of Christianity and how it, again, didn't cause the fall of the empire in the opinion of the exhibit, but kind of fell into the groove that was vacated by the imperial system. Uh, so it's, I gave a, a really smooth picture of the transition from the time of Constantine the Great when things were fairly stable and strong to a period of real just kind of desolation afterwards in certain parts, particularly in Italy, uh, combined with very regionalised powers in places like Britain, Northern Gaul, you know, places that didn't need the empire anymore, they had their bishops or their, their local warlords to look after their affairs for them. So, anyway, I'm heading into waffle territory, but that's, that's my thoughts immediately after stepping out of the exhibition. If you can come and see this do, it's on until November, so book a flight, book your tickets, do it. So I just realised at the end of that last video that I failed to actually give my opinion of what caused the fall of the Western Roman Empire. So here it is. While there's no smoking gun, so to speak, I believe it was the civil wars of the late 4th century AD that created the vacuum that precipitated the fall. So more than once, the Eastern Empire and the Western Empire went to war with catastrophic results. It left the coffers empty and the armies in an absolute state. So these were the things which paved the way towards the disaster. I think that's the earliest thing we can trace it back to, is the most obvious starting point of the unravelling. Anyway, that's my take. Uh, and also, I forgot to show you the thing I bought in the Exhibition Museum, in the shop, I mean, like, a ruler with the last, the 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13 Western Roman rulers, a ruler of rulers, how cool is that? Anyway, ta-ta!